What? You, you invite me in your house just to come and talk? As opposed to what? I mean, I ain't been out the game that long, Dre. Are you serious? Like, a pretty girl tries to comfort you in your time of stress and whatever the hell else you're going through, and you're going to take it there with me? I mean, look. My bad. I thought you was really... Come on. Just because I'm thick, it doesn't mean I don't have a soul. But you, yo, the way you was talking, it felt you know like what? you wanted to... Good night, Rashad. It felt like I thought you was... Look, you know on the real, I Good night, even... Rashad. Drea, it felt like... Drea. Drea. Damn. Oh, damn. Ooh. Oh, man. She... Oh, man. Man, she definitely wanted it. I know she wanted it. Oh, hell yeah. What you think I ain't going to... You think I ain't going to think that? I mean, she got the... She's sitting there with it all out like, yo, leaning over. I mean, I mean, I ain't tripping right... Shalom, brothers and sisters. This video will be titled Thirsty Women. Okay. I hear all this talk um, about how thirsty men are. Because they looking, you know, um, what Nicki Minaj say, looking ass nigga. All this kind of stuff, you know. And this this video is not to humiliate humiliate um, the black woman. But this is just a video to show you just how thirsty the black woman is today. Okay? So, we're going to shed some light on black women. This video is for you. I'm not dealing with the brothers. You know, or anything, how you might say that they they encouraging it and all this kind of stuff. Like, you know, I'm not dealing with the man in this video. No, it'll be another lesson for that. But this video is strictly for you so-called black women. All right? That's calling these men thirsty, but you don't realize just how thirsty you are being in today's time. Okay? So, we just going to give you a little bit of edification and just to show you just how just how lost the the you know the so-called black woman is today and to help rear you into the right direction to you know because it, it, it's time for change you know it's time to do better with ourselves you know okay so we have to be um we have to have the utmost respect for ourselves you know, and respect others as well. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of times we, we black women, you just don't have the respect, you know, that you need for yourself and towards others. OK, and so I show I started off with this clip and Barbershop three with Drea and Rashad. And just to show you how thirsty, you know, Nicki Minaj. Mick, Nicki Minaj's role was in this movie in this um scene and you know uh, Rashad here which is played by Common he's a married man and he offered a ride for um to um Nicki Minaj who plays Drea so she knows that he's a married man so in this this particular um movie him and his wife are having marital problems you know and so of course it seems like that's when another female seems to slip right on in is in a time of um, going through with your marriage, you know, because that's just how the enemy works, you know. So I showed that clip to show you just how thirsty she was trying to invite him into her home just to talk. At least that's what she's telling him. But the whole thing was to invite him in the home. To seduce him and tempt him, turn him on, you know what I'm saying, and do whatever she will with him, you know. But yet he's thirsty. Sisters, you don't understand what the, today. I'm I'm gonna just tell you like this. You know how hard it used to be back in the days where you know you couldn't really just spit. You know, a, a man had to try harder. Let me put it like that. A man had to try. Much harder back in the days to get that woman that he wanted, you know. But like it seemed like now it's like the women are running after the man, you know. It's like they not allowing the man no time to like go after them. They immediately going after the man, you know, when it's supposed to been be the other way around, you know what I'm saying? And so that to me 
shows how thirsty women are today, you know, for the attention, for the love, what I, whatever they searching for, you know, because just how the women dressed and everything today is to seek you, you seeking attention from a man, you know, so you would shake your tail, you would wear the fake hair, the fake eyelashes, the fake, everything just to get attention. Black woman, that's you. That's what you're doing today. So let me go into a scripture real quick because I really do not want to make this video long. So I'm going to go to the book Ecclesiasticus. For those of, you, those of you that don't know about the Apocryphal books, there are 14 books that was taken out the King James um, regular Bible. So it's called the um, Apocrypha and I'm going to the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 26. All right. And... This right here is just going to show you it's um, about a thirsty woman. And it's, it's Ecclesiastes 26 verse 11. It says, watch over an impudent eye. An impudent eye is like a bold, cocky, or not showing due respect for another person. And that's what the so-called black woman does today. But the scriptures is telling you to watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So this brother in this movie, he was peeping game on what Drea was trying to do in this movie. She, he knew ahead of time that she was trying to get him upstairs to her house so she can seduce him and they can fall in, you know, do some stuff that... He know that he shouldn't be doing, you know what I'm saying? But he was already ahead, you know, because she's like, so we can talk and all this kind of stuff. And he already knew it wasn't, you wasn't inviting me in your home just to talk, you know what I'm saying? And so the scriptures is telling you to, it said, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against it. Because they give you that eye, they give you that look, you know what I'm saying? And to try to turn a man on and seduce a man. But yet, you know, they call man thirsty. You get me? Verse 12 says, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. Yeah, because a lot of y'all ain't waiting for no man. A lot of y'all, y'all loud. Y'all want the man to see y'all. But yet, when they looking or when they checking you out, you call them thirsty. It's you... Something is really, really wrong. You know what I'm saying? You got to really just see, just hear me out and just see something is really wrong with the so-called black woman. You know what I'm saying? We we need change. We need help, you know, as a as a nation of, of people, you know. It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. She thirsty. The scriptures is calling a woman thirsty as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain. And drink of every water near her. She would drink of every water near her. Meaning that she would go out and she would basically um, try to holler or get to try to gain the attention of every fountain of every um, water near her. You know, it can be a man or whatever. And so it said, by every hedge, she would sit down. By every man, you know what I'm saying? She tried to, she tried to. Turn on every man, every man that she see, every man that, that she might be feeling or something. You try to seduce that brother, seduce that man to do and get him to where you want him to be, you know. And she will open her quiver against every arrow. Now, I don't have to go into explaining to you about the quiver and the arrow. Because we know the quiver is symbolic to the woman's vagina. And the arrow is the, the, the man's, you know what, penis. Okay? So, it said that she will open her quiver against every arrow. Because we know in today's time, a woman is not waiting for a man to prove himself or anything. All she is looking for is to get laid on her back. All right? She ain't really trying to be nobody's wife. She ain't trying to be none of that. She's just trying to get laid. All right? And it's high time to wake up, sisters. It's, you you got to stop, um, stop disrespecting yourself. Stop disrespecting your body, okay? And you got to start respecting yourself and respecting everybody around you. Because that's when you will begin to care. You know what I'm saying? To care about the brothers, to care about how we shouldn't lead a brother into temptation by the things that we wear. You know what I'm saying? 
We should want to help the brothers and, and dress in modest apparel and not cause a brother to fall. It's not their fault. 